So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video was recorded during the early access for Emerald Coast so a huge thank you to EW for allowing me to take part in this early access. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at the three brand new deer species that are here on Emerald Coast. The Sambar deer, the Rooster deer and the Hog deer. Now we're starting off by taking a look at the sambar and as you will have just seen we just dropped this really beautiful looking level 4 and this was actually the first of the new deer species that I encountered on this map and I was immediately super impressed. This is a beautiful beautiful looking sambar and the fur type is dusky gradient which is such a pretty name and it matches this really pretty fur type. Sort of a darkish brown with some black tones going into a sort of lighter brown color looks absolutely amazing now forgive me i kept opening the true score menu there when actually trying to take a look at the shot that i'd made because some of the inputs have changed so please do forgive me on that this was one of the first animals i actually shot in this early access but as you can see, the 308 did a perfect job with this guy. I actually managed to double lung and heart shot him. So the 308 seems to be a very good weapon for these guys. And just such a beautiful looking animal. I am super impressed with how the sandbar look. I think they have done a really fantastic job with these guys. Really, really beautiful. And I, like I said, I really like this dusky gradient fur type. Absolutely stunning. Now this is just a rough map of where I encountered these guys during the early access and of course you can see their drink time there as well but I found plenty just by hunting them as I was walking around. I didn't actually hunt these guys in their drink zones so you should encounter plenty just moving through those areas and they may be in areas that I didn't include in that map. That is just where I saw them during this early access. But once again, we have a couple of sandbar here resting. And like I said, I was coming across quite a few just walking around, not hunting them in their drink times, just wandering around the map. I was seeing plenty of activity on this map. You do not have to just hunt drink times on this map at all. In fact, I only hunted a couple of species drink times in the entire early access. But you can see here we have a different fur type for this sandbar. And you can really see the details in the face and the eyes. Absolutely beautiful. This is a brown fur type. Once again a level 4 and once again a gold. But just how gorgeous is this absolutely beautiful sandbar. He's quite big as a 139.05 gold when diamond is 166.43. So they do get quite a bit bigger than this. And just look at him. That is such a majestic and regal looking beast in my opinion. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we have another fur type here. Once again, different time of day, wandering around the map. Once again, it came across a group of resting sandbar and there was a smaller individual in here. We have a level three. Now I decided that I wanted to shoot this guy purely because he looked to have a different fur type and also his antlers looked to be a little bit different to me. And you can see the different fur varieties in the females running away there as well. Lots of variety with these guys. But you can see, once again, quite a different fur type. This one is a lot darker, but the antlers are also a lot paler. And that sort of stark contrast between the fur and the antlers, I think, looks fantastic. Once again, just appreciating the detail in the face of these guys, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot throughout this video, but I really do love how these guys look. Their models are really fantastic. And this time we have a dark brown fur type. Very, very dark colour fur on this. Almost blackish colours in some places, but mainly the very dark brown hues. And again, just absolutely gorgeous. You've got some lighter brown coloration on the legs as well. It just looks absolutely stunning. That is a beautiful deer. Really, really gorgeous. And I love their big round ears. They are just so cool. But to, taking a look at a smaller one and then moving to take a look at a much bigger one, I did actually find a level five. And when I saw this guy, I got so excited. This was by far the biggest sandbar I had encountered. And I was wondering how big these guys could potentially get. 
Just look at how majestic that is. Wow. What an awesome beast. Now, we are going to take him with the 308. And as you can see, he is going down very quickly from that shot. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He looks amazing. And again, sort of the paler colour antlers on the dark body, I think, looks really awesome. But just the sheer size of him. So much bigger than, obviously, the level 3, but bigger than even the level 4s that we've been looking at. Absolutely huge. And I was really crossing my fingers that this guy was actually going to be a diamond. So these guys do max at level 5. Level 5 is what you're looking for. And I was crossing my fingers, but unfortunately, he is a troll. He is the Dusky Gradient Fur type, which might be my favourite fur type alongside the Dark Brown. But he just doesn't quite make diamond at 165.14. So just below the diamond requirement. But this is still an incredible looking stag. And hopefully gives you an idea of just how big these guys are going to potentially get as diamonds. And you know, even though this guy just missed, misses diamond... I'm imagining this rack can potentially make diamond with just like the right twists in the antlers, just the right width, you know, because they do obviously have the, the true racks. So a little bit of true racks influence and I'm sure this particular rack can be a small diamond. But I'm obviously imagining this is the smaller diamond rack and I'm imagining that there's probably a bigger version as well. You tend to see that with deer species in this game that there'll be a smaller set of antlers and then a bigger set of antlers. So I'm wondering just how big a really big level 5 is going to be. I am super excited and even though this guy trolled, like I've said before, we're not going to get to keep anything from this early access. So it's kind of actually cool because it's a little bit of like a tease of this is how big they can get. They can get bigger than even this. You know, this is close to diamond. It's not quite there. But now I want to find a diamond in the live game. This was a perfect tease for me to actually want to get a really nice diamond for these in-game. Because I think they look absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad I got to see what a level 5 can potentially actually look like. Because seeing all the level 4s I was thinking, gosh, these maybe are a little bit smaller than what I was hoping for. But I'm really pleased. And like I said, I'm expecting that this is a smaller level 5 Obviously, he didn't make diamonds, so I'm definitely expecting it's a smaller level 5. But I'm really, really excited about how big these could potentially actually get. And, of course, I couldn't do a video talking about Sambar Deer without actually including the footage from the latest EW stream. Where Jaxie Beard actually showed us not one, but two different rares for the Sambar. Starting off with this absolutely incredible looking piebald variant. This is absolutely beautiful. The really dark fur in contrast with the white it just looks amazing. And of course, on this model with the fur detail, everything about this looks amazing. I This is going to be one of the trophies I really, really want to find the most off of this map. That just looks absolutely amazing. What a fantastic trophy to be able to chase after. I think these are going to be really popular to actually go and maybe grind to try and get the specific rares for these guys. And not only did we get to see an incredible looking piebald, but we also got to take a look at what the albinos look like for these guys. And this is just absolutely beautiful, absolutely fantastic. They have done such a fantastic job. This is like a ghost. It is amazing. Imagine seeing that walking through the forest. That is going to look so incredibly cool. I honestly can't wait. I'm going to be hunting so hard to try and get rares and diamonds of these. They just look so fantastic. The devs have done a fantastic job. And I've said fantastic probably a hundred times in this video already. But I'm really passionate about these and I think they've done a fantastic job. Then we are going to move on to taking a look at the Javan Rusa. I hope I'm saying that right. Normally I would just say Rusa deer, but in game they are called the Javan Rusa. And I believe Rusa means deer. So saying deer is basically like saying deer deer when you say Rusa deer, I believe. But the Rusa. 
They look absolutely incredible. This is my favourite fur type for them, the white brown. It almost looks kind of piebald when you first see it, and that was what I thought I was seeing when I saw this fur type for the first time. But it is just a common fur type for them, the white brown. Now this is just a little level 3 silver, but just a gorgeous looking Rusa. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really stunning. I actually think that they these guys might be my favourite of the new deer species. They might be, just because they are so fantastic looking. I really like the Rusa really really beautiful and hopefully you can see what i mean about the almost piebald look because there's the different shades of brown you've got a darker shade of brown then the lighter sort of tannish color and then you have the white mixed in which obviously makes sense as to why this fur type is called white brown but it is very very beautiful a very gorgeous looking animal they have been doing such a good job with all of the new models for all of the new animals. I have been super impressed by everything I have seen. And the Rusa are no exception to that. Really fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. And this is only a level 3. This is a little level 3. Not a big one by any means. They're going to get quite a bit bigger than that. Now, once again, we have a rough map of where I have encountered these guys actually during the early access and their drink time but once again i haven't hunted these in their drink time at all i've just hunted them by just running through the map and actually encountering them you really don't need to hunt drink zones on this map and i cannot emphasize that enough i basically hunted next to no drink times during this early access only for like fallow deer i think and hog deer by accident and i encountered so many animals so many deer the map is just absolutely filled it is just fantastic how they have done it. I'm super impressed. But this time we're taking a look at a bigger Rusa. This was a level 4. And this also has a different fur type. This is a really beautiful looking animal. This is a level 4. And he's actually a two tones. Which is really interesting. We've seen that fur type before on a couple of different animals. But this time on a Rusa. Now I messed up the shot. I got stomach and intestines. I took the shot just as he turned. But you can see he would have been a 123.20. When diamond is 148.78. So even though this guy would have been a gold level 4, he's still not close to diamond and he's a pretty big looking Rusa. So I'm super excited to see just how potentially big these guys can get. And this fur type is gorgeous. The dark brown, almost black fur mixing with the, the tan and sort of golden colours looks really stunning. That to me is a gorgeous looking deer. And... Even if that was a diamond rack, I would be happy. I mean, that still looks really impressive. But we saw the one picture on Steam that got shared. And we know that these guys can get pretty big. But how big they actually look in game was something I was insanely curious to actually see. Now, moving on, we have another really good size Rusa here. Once again, with a different fur type. And this guy is really big. That is a big looking level 4. I was seriously impressed by the size of this one and when I spotted him initially I thought oh is that maybe a five because he just did look so big but this time you can see a much different looking fur type this is a brown fur type so these guys have a quite a range of different common colors which is really nice to see it's always nice to have those variants because it means that when you get a, a diamond or something there's different furs to get that on so it adds to the variety which is always really nice and this guy was a really really good size gold but once again diamond is even bigger than this so i was again really curious to see just how big these were gonna get because to me that looks pretty darn impressive that is a pretty big set of antlers on this guy especially when you compare it to something like the level three that we started out with but similar to with the sandbar deer i did actually find a level five and once again, I encountered this guy just running around, running through the forests and basically listening for warning calls and picking up tracks. And a herd of Rusa took off in front of me and there was a level five. And you can see I'm just stalking around here so that I can get a shot at him. 
But look at how impressive that looks. He's got more mass, I would say, than the level 4 that we just took a look at. And I was pretty sure that this was, again, a different fur type. Another different common fur. And the 308 just doing a number on him there and bringing him down super quickly. And this is definitely a different fur type. But just take a look at those antlers. Wow. They look so impressive. The mass on that. That looks incredible. I was super, super impressed. This was the first level 5 I came across and I thought he looked absolutely amazing. He's a light brown fur type and unfortunately he is a troll. A 144.20 scoring gold. But similar to with the sandbar, this just gives a little bit of a teaser of how big these guys can potentially get. If this is a troll... How big do the big diamonds actually get? Because I think this looks pretty darn awesome. I was, you know, thinking this guy was probably going to be a diamond. He looked so big to me. Like, you know, that's just an incredible looking deer. Absolutely fantastic. But he's not a diamond. He misses diamond by a little bit. when Because diamond is 148.78. And this is 144.20. So they've got to get a little bit bigger to actually be diamond. So I'm really keen to see some actual diamonds for these guys. And once again, this is early access. So even if he did make diamond, I wouldn't be able to keep him. But it's just an incentive to go and actually hunt. I was always going to go and hunt for the diamonds of the new species. But it's just like a little, little tease of these are going to be super impressive. And it makes me really want to go and hunt for them. I am basically feeling that about every species on this map. I'm going to be so busy between the Great One grind and obviously hunting for the diamonds of these new species. It's going to be insane. And not just the diamonds either. There's going to be another thing that I'm hunting for, and that is the rares. And once again, I had to include this footage from EW's latest live stream, in which we got to see not one, but two variations of the piebald for Rusa. So we have that absolutely stunning version that we were just taking a look at, and then we're going to get to see a second piebald variant. And there it is. We have at least two piebald variants for the Rusa, which I think looks amazing. I think they both look fantastic. I really like the second one, though. The one that's a little bit further away, I think, looks absolutely amazing. So I'm really keen to see what the other rares are like. But finally, and we are moving on to hog deer for the final species of this video. Now, the hog deer, I think, are a fantastic little species. Gosh, how many times can I say fantastic in this video? If that doesn't tell you how much I absolutely love these species and this new map, I don't know what else will. I absolutely am in love. I think everything has just been done so incredibly well. And I think this map is going to be a firm community favourite. This is absolutely fantastic. And the hog deer look amazing. The hog deer are absolutely gorgeous. And again, I get the feeling that these guys are going to be a little bit of an underrated species. I just think because they're a bit more of a small deer, kind of like roe deer, that they might get overlooked a little bit. But I think they're fantastic. And this is just a level 4. This is a gold level 4. And you can see this one scores 100.58 when diamond is 108.68. So they can get... A little bit bigger than this even. And this is pretty impressive looking. Like to me that's a pretty impressive looking hog deer. And they're going to get bigger than that to be a diamond. So I'm really keen to see what a big diamond for these is going to look like. I mean that's a really impressive looking level 4. And I love them. I think that they're so well done. Their faces and everything. I think they're, they've got such an amazing expression. That they look really fantastic. And again, while you can hunt these in their drink time, which is going to be on screen in a moment, as well as a rough map of where I have actually encountered these guys while hunting in early access, they may go slightly outside of these areas. You might find them in slightly different areas, but this should give you a rough idea of where I have found them during early access. While you can hunt them in their drink time, 
again, I was seeing them mostly just while I was walking around the map, not hunting drink zones. Again, you do not need to hunt their drink zones to actually be able to find them. It's the same with all of the deer species, and in fact, all of the species on this map. It's It's been done so well that you will just encounter animals as you walk around. And I know that's going to please a lot of people, because a lot of people seem to be very tired of just hunting drink zones all the time. And it's very refreshing and very satisfying, I found, to just be able to wander this map and come across as many animals as you actually do. I think they They've been distributed so well that any hunt, whether it's a specific hunt targeting one species or just a wandering hunt, is going to provide plenty of opportunities to hunt and I think that that's going to be fantastic. But we have another hog deer on the ground, this time a little bit of a smaller one. Now this is also a level 4, but this time it is a silver at 78.01. Now the hog deer, very similar to the rooster and sambar, are a species where you're going to see a lot of level 4s. For all three of the deer species, I was seeing mainly level 4s. The occasional level 3, but I don't think I saw many smaller than that. It was mostly level 4s for all of the deer species. And it does seem that the level 4s for these species can vary in size. And you can see that with the hog deer, we had a pretty good sized gold just now, and now we have a little silver. So a 4 is not going to be a guaranteed gold with these guys, which I think is always really interesting. And it's always cool to see the extra variety with the levels. And, you know, we've seen it a lot in the past where animals that are not the, the highest level, not max level, can make diamond. And with that first hog deer we shot, that really big gold, it makes me wonder, with true racks, if some of these deer species might be able to make diamond one level below max. I kind of would expect it. It seems to be a trend that we have seen with newer maps, that a lot of animals are able to make diamond one level under, and I really wouldn't be surprised if that's actually a thing with these, because I have seen some pretty big level four hog deer, like that first one we shot, and even this one in front of us here is a pretty big level four. I mean, he doesn't have an estimate that can actually make diamond, but even still, that's a pretty big looking level four. So it really wouldn't surprise me if these can actually make diamond at level four. So this one is an 88.60, so smaller than that very first one that we shot, but still a gold and still a really good size level four. So there really is quite a lot of variance within level four size for these. And like I said, I was seeing a lot of level fours. So it's really interesting that they have such a wide score range. That's really, really interesting to me. And like I said, I really would not be surprised if we see things like level four hog deer diamonds and level four sambar and rooster deer diamonds. So yeah, I, I really wouldn't be shocked by that. But it's really cool to actually see, like I said, all the score variants because it means that it's going to be more interesting to actually get trophies of these, or at least it is in my opinion, when you're not guaranteed to get a gold, say if you see a level four rare, you know, it's not always guaranteed to be a gold. There's a chance that it could be a silver. So getting a gold one will be extra special. So that, that kind of thing, it was always really interesting to me. And I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far from the hog deer. Really fantastic little species, a class three. They are quite a small species, but they have, like I said, really still quite impressive antlers. I mean, like I said, these are level fours. And then I ended up finding this, talking of impressive antlers, level five hog deer. Now, I spooked this guy out of a drink zone, as you will see. I wasn't intentionally hunting drink zones. I went past a lake, it was hog deer drink time, and this guy spooked. And you can see he is very impressive looking. It looked to me like his antlers had more mass than I've seen on some hog deer. And he looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, that is a really stunning sight. And just something about actually hunting them in the more thick forests, to me, is extra cool. I mean, in this environment in particular, I just think they really are just amazing to see. 
And I was just trying to get a shot on this particular one. And he was being a little bit difficult about giving me a shot angle. I am using the 22 to 50 for the hog deer in this video. And it has been doing a fantastic job for me at taking these down. They really haven't been standing any chance against it. So definitely a good choice if you're looking to hunt the hog deer. But anything that covers class 3 should do pretty nicely. As these guys, as I said, are class 3. So that's what you're looking for. But as he turns back to face us here, I finally get a shot opportunity and manage to actually bring him down. You can see immediately he reacts to the shot and then not very long after his health starts to drop. So I knew that I got him and got him in the vitals and he is not going to go very far before he actually goes down. Unfortunately, we do just lose sight of him there as he goes down, but he didn't go very far at all. But just look at those antlers. They are really impressive. Like I said, for a smaller deer, I think those are really, really impressive looking antlers. Like, that is awesome. And yeah, like I said, maybe because these are smaller, they might be quite an underrated species. But I think they're really impressive. And this is another troll at 107.74. So I've had three trolls... I have had a troll of each of the new deer species, which again, even if they were diamond, wouldn't be able to keep them because it's early access. But it's just, it's such a tease to get so close on each one of the deer species and get to see just how big these can actually get. Because once again, I'm expecting this is possibly a small diamond rack that with the right, you know, just the right combination of a little bit more width or a little bit more length would make diamond because of course they do have true racks. But I would expect there to be like another bigger size rack on top of that that's, you know, for the bigger size diamonds. So again, really, really curious to see just how big these are going to get. But I think it's pretty cool that we got to see a level five of each and just see what a potential small diamond could actually look like. And I'm impressed with all of them. Honestly, I really am. I love the mass. The mass on the hog deer level five to me looks really, really cool. Similar to what we saw on the Rusa, the level five Rusa. I love that extra mass and I think that that's pretty awesome. And I just cannot wait to see how much bigger they're actually going to get to be, you know, diamonds and even bigger diamonds diamonds but that is going to be it for this video looking at the three new deer species i hope this has been informative and of course i really hope you have enjoyed it and yeah i'm just super excited to actually get to hunt these in the live game hopefully i won't get trolled so badly in the live game but like i said kind of cool to just get to see a level five of each regardless of the fact that they did end up trolling they're still cool trophies to me to get in the early access so i'm really happy with that i'm really happy that i got to get such an in-depth look at all of these different species and i cannot wait for them to actually be in the live game and see what people find see the see the rares for hog deer see more rares for the sambar and the rusa i think it's going to be really cool but that is going to be it for this one. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.